yo what is good we're back with another video it is sunday market opens up in about four hours so let's get into the new week and let's go over smt divergence so smt divergence is smart money tools or smart money technique and it is a divergence between two correlated pairs so i trade the es or nq so those two pairs are known to be correlated and whenever there is a high or low swept on the nq that isn't swept on the es it is considered a divergence or smt divergence so in forex it'd be like eu uh and gu those two are correlated pairs anything against the dollar so those two would be smt divergence if one breaks a high and the other one doesn't and vice versa so this is something it would look like so over here es over here nq so we just have a nice uptrend and then we come down and right here we diverge in the es and nq es takes out this buy side liquidity level and es does not so now we have a divergence between the es and the nq and then we get this market structure shift and go lower so let's go over what it will look like so right here i have on the hourly chart one that we had on tuesday uh two weeks ago on the hourly chart so right here you can see my crosshairs they are on the es this is nq on the left right here we have a low on the nq we take that low out right there and on the es as you see we never come close to that low so we have this i wonder if i can go back on the minute chart we have that divergence between the two correlated pairs so that is yep we can considered a smt divergence and if we look in we can see after we form that and nq takes out that low as you see it barely takes it out but it takes it out by 12 points we get our run up so this really didn't give uh, right here you could have taken because after this displacement up like that you can guarantee that we're going to buy side without much of a pullback and that's exactly what we did that day so right here on the hourly chart you can see that SMT worked really nicely you get smart money reversal here on the es right there with an smt divergence confirming that we will go higher so let's look at a few more examples okay so we actually had one on friday we had nq taking out this high we can actually go down to the 15 minute so it looks cleaner so nq takes out this high right here but we were just chopping around in here so you really wouldn't want to trade that and if we go to the five minute you can see that you would not want to be trading that so going to the 15 we can just say we took out this high on the nq boom oh we took it out on the es as well so right here this high or we could even go back to this high over here as you see smt here over here on the es we never even come close to it so we do cut through a bit of price action right here which generally isn't good but what we can do is just drag it here because nq took that high out so right there going down to the one minute time frame you get your market structure shift right there so let's pull out the little light bulb boom you get your displacement down shifting higher time frame structure down here and then you get a pullback to a fair value gap and continuation down to sell side liquidity so from that smt divergence you can see we get a nice sell-off and if we go on the hourly chart right now you can see that right now we are actually forming smt with this low right there so what happens tomorrow we may get a nice uh, run to the top side we could go be targeting buy side liquidity so now that we've done a one hour and a 15 minute let's go down to a five minute smt divergence all right so right here we have a five minute smt divergence tuesday about five days ago so right here on the nq you see that we 
have SMT with this low right here at 920. You can see ES never took this low out. And then if we go down to the one minute time frame, let's see, let's see, right here. SMT with this low, boom, boom, NQ, boom, boom. Does cut through that price action right there, which I don't like, but you can move it right here. Even though ES takes that low out, we know that ES did not take this low, but NQ has. So going over, you get, I actually took a loss here, but on this day I took two losses and I took a loss right here. I took a long right here, but with a stop like right down here. So what you can do is not do what I did by taking the first fair value gap, even though you have your market structure shift, your stop should probably be at the lows. So under that SMT divergence right here, your stop should be below there. but if you get stopped out, what you can see is internal <clears throat> being swept here, displacement higher, you can take entry here, or whenever we break above this high, take your entry up here. And as you see, we never violated that SMT's low until we took out buy side up here. And no, we never had SMT at this high. So right there, five minute SMT. And we can go over one of my trades that I took a break even on, but entered literally the minute after. I went over it in uh, yesterday's video, but we can go over that. Let me go look at what time it was. We can just keep the video rolling. So winning trades, NQ at 1025 at 1044. So 1025, 1044. Oh, went past it. 1044, 1025, here, 1044, right here. So I took my entry on this candle right here. And let's see, on the ES. Okay, so right here on the NQ, I took my long right here in this fair value gap. Also a mitigation block from over there. And I exited on this candle at break even because I wasn't liking how the trade was working. But as I saw NQ take out this low, and ES never does. So we have, right, price is fractal and time is fractal. So what is this doing on the lower time frames, like the 15 second chart? It is sweeping even though this is a swing low, so it is technically taking out liquidity, we are still coming into a lower time frame point of interest, giving an internal swing low taken and then liquidity being swept with displacement on the lower time frames. So knowing that price is fractal, time is also fractal. So keeping that in mind, I don't go under the one minute, but I know on the lower time frames, if we are forming an SMT with this low right here, right, we are also in a point of interest for me, right? We have an order block here, continuing to hold this order block, comes right into it, bounces off, forming SMT at a PD array with a one minute swing low being violated. ES does not. Will this work all the time? No. I could have gotten stopped out of this, but I was willing to put on the risk for 11 points for 30 points, right? So that's how quick I entered on this candle right here after I saw it start to expand back up because then I figured this SMT is valid. We should go to this high. So this is how you can use lower time frame SMT and then framing a trade around a one hour SMT. Um, let's see, can we find a one hour right here, right here we have an SMT. So, boom, oh wow, 
So we can just do it from that low in the end queue. Let's go to a five minute chart. Right here we have SMT, right? Boom, boom. And as you see, we <clears throat> lower time frame once again, ES takes out this swing low. Over here on the NQ, we never take out that same swing low. Boom. So we have SMT on the one hour chart, and now we have SMT on the five minute chart. So this is where framing a good, I can't go down to the one minute to find an entry because this is too far back, even though it's only 20 days. This is how you can frame trades, right? Given that, we should come to this high. Boom, boom. We get an expansion up. You can use this order block as your entry, plus OB, right? Boom, boom. We also have an inverse fair value gap now. Boom, boom. So plenty of entries given. On the one minute, there was probably a lot of entries as well. So SMT on the one hour chart, SMT on the five minute chart, expand higher, find a long entry. So this is how you can take your, you can frame a trade around SMT. You can, as long as you have two correlated pairs, boom, boom, and one of them cracks correlation like that. This is a crack in correlation. You can frame good trades off of this as long make sure you are taking these based off of higher time frame pd arrays okay so one hour chart 15 minute chart depends what time frame you're trying to trade on it's all up to you how you see fit but this is how you can use smt divergence to frame trades around so hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in some trades tomorrow I'm burping right now. We're going to try to pass uh, one of the combine accounts that I bought uh, a week and a half ago. So what are we? 1,400 away from passing it. So yeah, we're going to try to pass that this week. I've been uploading all my trades taken on that account. So I think it was, I think I've been trading it for seven or eight days and up about 1,600 on it. So haven't been trading too bad on it. And yeah, I'm going to try to pass that this week, get another funded account, and then we'll rock and roll, baby. So I'll see you guys in some trades next week. I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good trading week. Stay disciplined. Stay patient. And let's bank, baby.